Hi everyone, once again Spotlight comes your way from the Daily Tribune studios here in Makati. This is Giorgio Silvestre. Vernon Velasco. Okay. Today we have a very, we, yeah. we have a special guest. Mother and son tandem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The mother and is someone I've known for a long time. Yeah. She's a very good, um, an excellent visual artist. Mm -hmm. She, she ano ba mga media niya? Uh, uh, oil. Oil. Pastel. Pastel. Acrylic. Acrylic. Pen and ink. And yeah. she has done several exhibitions. Yeah. And if you visit her house, she is it's so beautiful because aside from her artwork. It's full of paintings. Yeah. And of late, plantita na rin siya. Yeah. So like, like everyone <laughs> else. I think it, 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 it complements them. Yeah. Plants. Oh, 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 oh. Now, also with her, uh, with her today mm -hmm. is her son. Mm -hmm. Who? Both them. Uh, just one son just one is son. with us, yes. A very mm -hmm. handsome yeah. son, yeah. Well, they're all handsome. In that <laughs> family, all the men are handsome. Yeah. There are only two sons. Uh, three, you were, you were there are three sons. Like, you were yeah. speaking like a kid kanine. <laughs> uh, they're all very good looking sons, huh? Yeah. And this one, mm -hmm. you wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. Well, at least, I didn't know him that well. I know the elder one because... Mm -hmm. uh, he would perform sa, sa Resorts World, yeah. sa Theater Doon, mm -hmm. and he's now in in Scotland for Scotland. his uh, performing arts studies. Plus, oh, the guy? Plus, plus, yeah, the one who, who, yeah. who yeah. materialized from that. From yeah, yeah. nag-pip lang ganyan. Yeah. But our guest is mm -hmm. something else mm -hmm. because he grew up, you know, like, what would think he was just funny, he was just cute and handsome ever since. Mm -hmm. But now it turns out he has just graduated from my school. He's the valedictorian from the yeah. European school. Yes. Oh, oh pareho sila international school. Mm -hmm. But elementary sa kwan siya sa Mahatma Gandhi International School. Nice. In London. No, here, here right in, here. in, in yeah. Merville. So, uh, may we present to you? You know, the thing <laughs> is, one wonders how one raises mm -hmm. a valedictorian during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. That's our basic thesis today. Yeah. But of course, one doesn't become a valedictorian overnight. Mm -hmm. Not just because there's a pandemic that one becomes a yeah. valedictorian, no? I think so, through the years, he has actually excelled. And yeah. he he's also a basketball player. Maybe because of good parenting. I think good that's parenting. the whole point there. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> but talaga namang magagaling yung mga bata. Ganun din, good genes. Yeah. Oh. And then I'm a good neighbor. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, we used to be neighbors actually two, three blocks away. <laughs> That's yeah. my role in their life. Yeah. So may we present to you mm -hmm. mother and son, kind of. Marisa and Mark. And Mark Ketcher. Hi. Hello. Marisa. Hi. Hi. Hello, Bernon. Hello, John. Hi, thank you for having us on the show. Yeah. Mukhang yeah. napakahaba na intro ko. Haba na intro ko. Yeah. I think this is the longest intro. <laughs> Kasi yeah. kilalang kilala ko eh. Since we're at it, you, first, uh, you throw the first question. Okay. Uh, question. Pinamadali na ako. <laughs> Kasi only one hour. Yeah. So how has it been like during the pandemic? Anong ginagawa ng mother at ano ang ginagawa ng son? Mm -hmm. Okay. How has it been like? Marisa, you first. Well, for me, it was uh, an added bonus eh, yung pandemic. Kasi James was still in... Glasgow at the time, so he came oh, over oh. here. So the family became complete when he was brought in here because of the pandemic. And it's a blessing because we did many things together. Um, the boys started do, uh, making yogurt during the spare time. Oh, oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we thrived as a family during the pandemic. We bonded really well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually quite wondering about Mark. Mark, you actually excelled as a valedictorian. And yeah. it was all virtual. It was quite a feat. I mean, how was it? I mean, how was your virtual class compared to being in a live classroom? Uh, well, being in a live classroom, is, I'd always say that it's better than learning online, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, learning online was quite difficult, especially at first, because it was very hard to... Uh, learn in, in an environment that you're usually um, relaxing in. Um, home oh. is for relaxing yeah. and taking a deep breath and just, you know, getting your cool. But having to learn at home as well just didn't seem right at first. Um, but over time, I adapted 
and um, I got over it. Yeah. Yeah. And they're only a few steps away from the basketball court. Yeah. So yeah. May mga, may mga temptation, ah. yeah. And the kitchen always smells Good. delicious. <laughs> What's always cooking at home? <laughs> the father cooks. The father cooks. Oh, and he cooks, right? Yeah, he does too. Oh, oh. I think the Brits. Oh, oh. But you mm-hmm. know, it, it, it was quite a surprise when I found out that he was the valedictorian. Because I thought just a pillow, a basketballist, a guapo. Lang, yeah. you know? <laughs> but there's a lot more to mark. Mm-hmm. So, how does Marisa, how does one... How does one Raise a valedictorian. Yeah, oh, oh. that's a question. Ano ba? Ano ba ang secreto ng isang parent? Oh, for me, there's no single formula for that. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it's actually just starting off the children, raising them with many with values on family, on being grateful, being humble, being mm-hmm. responsible, to persevere, um, be diligent, and at the same time, have a sense of humor also. Last but not the least, to have a faith in the Lord. And somehow it just falls into place. Pagdating sa studies, parang um, it just comes secondary na lang. Mm-hmm. Naturally, they just develop it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was really pleased with the outcome of Mark. And blessed as well. Mark, your, your, your brother is a thespian. He quite excels in that, in, that, in that field. So, he is quite special. So, have you actually... Yes, sir. Aspired Uh-oh. to be like him, or have you sort of, you know, tried to be different? See James. See James. Yeah. Uh-oh. The elder. Yeah. The elder. He's always inspired me ever since um, I've, you know, been in school, and um, because he's really intelligent, I like to pick his brains and um, learn along with him as well, because he teaches me many things, and as a result, I would say sure. that um, he has truly inspired me. He's a great. Um, source of motivation for me and he really knows how to help me out with any problems that I encounter. Mm-hmm. I Mark, ang mommy mo, is she strict? Is she the kind who <laughs> who tells you, hey, okay, mm-hmm. study mm-hmm. at eight o'clock, you should be here, you should and all that. Mm-hmm. How um, is she with you? I'd like to say that she's strict whenever she needs to be. Um, ah. <clears throat> knows how to go about um, making me work and she doesn't put too much um, stress on me as well. She lets me do my own thing, and uh, I'm glad that she really trusts me to use my time wisely. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I've, I've respected her for it. And as a result, I've you know, studied and worked really hard for her as well. On that note, um, with, with Marisa, how do you handle arguments with your kids? Do you sort of allow them to talk back or... Do you sort of find this, you know, as a sweet spot to, you know, a chance to to bond together and, you know, just um, allowing them to stand against any authority figure starting from you? And, <laughs> you know, just always reminding them every time to speak softly. Like for foment, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Vernon, I'm thankful no wala talaga ako maiisip na incident na they were really talking back. Um, to me oh. and like raising their voices, mm-hmm. but oh. I would encourage all, all, always um, communication. Communication. Sa amin. If I see that they look a little bit troubled or if I if they've done something wrong, I always say something. Pana ang feeling ko kasi if I let it go, mm. ulit ulitin. So I mm. talk to them nicely and then we would have a conversa- full blown conversation about how it happened, what are their feelings. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. most of the time, it's an open communication between me and the boys. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully, walang secrets. Yeah. Pero, yeah. Uh, um, I'm just glad na open sila sa akin. They tell me how frustrated they are sometimes yeah. and how happy naman they are with the, the way things work. So, I'm glad ganun yung relationship namin. So, you always find the time to sit them down? Yes. Yeah. If I, yeah, actually I do. If if may problema, I would always say, do you want to sit down first? Let's talk about it. Or you can discuss with me what's troubling you. And then, yun, from then on, Ano na, they would let they would tell me about how they would uh, what um what feelings they've had or may problema sila which is really great. I think that's good. I mean, kasi di ba yung ibang parents? I mean, usually when when their kids talk back, it's a point of discussion, and they always yeah. say, "Wag kang piloso po." Yeah. <laughs> I've been there, done that. Uh-huh. Shut up. <laughs> but you know, Better with them with Marisa, it's different. You know why? Yeah. Very quietly, she reminds them, or she gives the impression, or she really is. Mm-hmm. She kind of. 
she kind of tells them that, look, Batanggenya ito, ha? Batanggenya. Uh, hindi mo ito kaya, ha? <laughs> And so they're scared of her, ha? Yeah. Baka mabalisong sila, eh. Balisong, yeah. <laughs> no, she's sweet. She doesn't have to do that. You always like, wait, balis, don't wait, but that's... <laughs> oh, hindi naman, ano. Pwede namang lomi. Yeah, yeah lomi. Lomi yeah. <laughs> goto. Let me okay. add, Vernon. Sorry, Jo. Oh, Let's it's talk. okay. Yeah, if I may add, um, I always tell them, if you have something to ask, mm-hmm. always ask, kasi huwag kang oh. matakot magtanong. Because Tama. if you don't ask the question, the answer will always be no. Yeah. So, parati yan, pag ano, they would ask me, Mom, how is this, kanyan? And we would talk about it, which is really, you know, mm-hmm. oh, tama good thing. But to go back to Batangas, ang kulit ko, ano? <laughs> Batangas. Kasi, you know, they have, they, their, their father is British, no? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. How Filipino are they? Have you been... Yeah. Oo, oh, oh, tinuturuan mo ba sila ng Filipino yeah. values? Yeah. Of course, oh, oh, oo. Oh. How are... Um, oo, oh, kumusta ba? <laughs> nagpupo and opo yan. Pag they're talking to somebody na, na Filipino na matanda na, yes oh, oh. po. Yeah. And, um, well, yung food, I incorporate anything and everything Filipino. So, parang... Gusto sabi ko, kung British kayo, Filipino rin kayo. So, you, you know, you always have to know many things about who you are. Mm. Eh, nag-attend na ba sila ng kwan? Parada mm. ng lechon? Yes. Oh. Twice or thrice. Yes. Actually, oh. today is the parada ng lechon in Balayan, June yeah. 24. Oo. Oh, oh. Kaya nga eh. Ang saya-saya. Would you, would you believe that's one of the reasons we got you? Because you were saying, either oh, kumuha tayo ng taga San Juan, mm-hmm. taga Manila, because pista din yan. Yeah. Or kumuha tayo ng taga Batangas, yeah. ng Balayan. Balayan. Oh, Balayan pa, yes. Oh, so, yeah. we, That's one of the reasons, yeah. really. <laughs> Marisa, you are, ano, you are an artist. How do you sort of balance your commitments yeah. between art and your yeah. family? Um, for me, Vernon, family comes first. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, unahin ko muna yung family ko. If I have the spare time, then I do my art. Mm-hmm. And uh, it works naman well. Like, let's say, may ginagawa ako na talaga important na nagpipaint ako, I ask them first, oh, is there anything important that, you know, we, you need me to do? And okay naman, they let me do also the, what I want. So, mm-hmm. that's the, the only time I, you know, I do my art. But family, of course, um, is first. Yeah. Marisa, one is a basketball player, mm-hmm. the other one is an actor, actor. no? And musician, no? Mm-hmm. But other than those very obvious differences, ano pa ang kaibahan nila in terms of behavior, in terms of character, in terms of interests, preferences? It's more cocky, ganun. Oo, yeah. sino ang mas kwan? Mas I always say pa. James is more like me. We're more, oh. we wear our hearts on our sleeve. Makikita mo kay James, if he's frustrated, he talks about it. Mark is more like his father. Reserved oh. ang mga Brits. They, they just keep quiet. They get on with it. Is that correct? Yeah, Mark, right? that's Observations. Yeah. yeah. Oo, oh, oh, ganun pala. Kaiba yung ano nila, but they hardly fight naman kasi they really talk to each other. Oh, and then they okay. help each other. So, kahit may, magkaiba sila, different poles, they also get together many times and they share many things also. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd like to ask Mark, ano, kung what is it about the mommy that, uh, that, that he, he likes yeah, it's very and special. what he does not like about the mommy. But before he answers that, let's We're going po- to take yeah. a short break. Yeah. 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 Well, ambush inter-
you are watching Spotlight with the mom and son tandem, Marisa and Mark uh, Catcher. So, yeah. yun, before we took a short break, Marisa and Mark, um, we asked, Mark, how is Marisa as a mother? Does she bite her head off? <laughs> uh, no, well, she's very um, passionate about taking care of us uh, well, and I, um, I love that so much. And um, she's a very resilient woman. Mm-hmm. So no matter okay. what challenge comes along the way, yeah. um, she never she never backs down, yeah. which is a great attribute mm-hmm. um, to have. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as well, um, on top of that, um, my special brother he requires a lot of attention because he can't do a lot of basic tasks mm-hmm. that a regular person would be able to do. Uh, and because of that, my mom's um, been so great with taking care of him. Um, she's always there for him. And even when times get really hard, she's always there for not only my special brother, but my whole family. So, yeah, yeah I think that's... You're, ma- the yeah. you're, ma- you're making Marisa blush. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> so that is what... That's what you like about your mom, no? Those are the things that you like about your mom. Yeah. What are the things that you don't like about her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Ano, ano. It's a moment of truth. Come on, I'm not gonna get mad. <laughs> She's not gonna get mad. Yeah. What are the things that I um? What was it? Sorry, I didn't really don't like. Don't like. Uh, no. Well, I can't say I don't like anything. Um. Uh-huh. Uh. Mm, I don't really know how to answer that question, honestly. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't think there is anything I dislike about my mom. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bait na ba ito? Tama naman din. Yeah. Marisa, I was wondering, uh, let's talk about the art side a little, a little bit. So, what are you currently working on right now? Or has this sort of taken a backseat now that you are, you know, um, more focused? Yeah. Recently, I haven't been painting for none mm-hmm. because I've been busy um, with the family. I, my special son, he takes like many hours for me i have to do many things for him uh-huh. but um yeah we've been busy lately with the business of the boys uh-huh. they're doing yogurt round the clock yeah. they have regular customers Uh-oh. so uh, yeah i just ask them and if they need my help i you know i'm just busy with the normal things of like you know a housewife does like um groceries and stuff like that taking care of the boys recently i haven't really been painting that much uh-huh. maybe next week i'll start again <laughs> Magkano yung yogurt? Yogurt. Oh, and how does one order? So people will know. Uh, yeah, well, um, we accept anyone who messages us privately asking for yogurt. That's also fine. But we post um, every week on Facebook, uh, okay. specifically in our Merville uh, group chat. Mm-hmm. and um, Or, yeah, group chat. And um, people order. Yeah. And we take the orders and we make them and prepare them. Uh, sometimes we get people who message us, but they live in Crescent City and other places that are far away from us. But nonetheless, we lala move um, their orders to them. So, yeah. You and James uh, do it, prepare it? <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. We make it our, ourselves. Uh, on, like every Wednesday or Thursday, we make um, around 10 liters to 20 liters of yogurt. Um, Who taught you? Mom. Um, <laughs> <Dad>. <laughs> well, me and James um, picked it up from my dad. He yeah, was the it's one who, dad. Oh, um, the homemade yogurt. Yeah, he would make the homemade uh, yogurt. And oh. um, ever since then, my dad stopped and we took over. And it's a tricky job because it takes about 18 hours to make plain yogurt, an additional um, eight hours to make turn it into Greek. So they're really very Uh-oh. meticulous about it and they're really very passionate to make good yogurt. Yeah. You mean a church change ng nationality along the way? Yeah. Yes, actually <laughs> each um, cooking is, uh, they have their own, it has a, its own personality. Minsan sarang Uh-oh. lumalabas, minsan too sweet. So, oh, really? yun, but so far, they, yeah, oh, they've, yeah, they've sold about 1,200 tubs of yogurt since they started um, wow, cooking and then cool. on top of that they also tutor in german and french nice. so they're very wow. busy during this pandemic who speaks german i think mark oh i can speak um a good amount of german because i've learned it. Oh. 
Oh, that was oh. younger, yeah. yeah. And James oh, yeah. Uh, teaches French naman. Oh, okay. And you know what? I, I read or heard that they do some community mm-hmm. assistance work. Tell us about that. You're helping some people. Ano yung Mark? Uh, right. So for me, um, or well, for James at first, um, he created a fundraising concert uh-huh. um, where he'd sing and the, all of the donations uh, go to the beneficiaries. To the beneficiaries. The uh-huh. And uh, as for me, um, a little bit before the COVID pandemic began, I visited um, a, lo- a local precinct uh, called Trece Martires. Um, I'm not oh, so yeah. sure if yeah. you guys are aware of it, but um, yeah, I, I visited there and I um, oh, you did. helped with uh, the installation of water pipes for them. Oh. And uh, I also donated uh, many things like clothes, toys, oh. and uh, general goods. Okay, okay. Marisa, back to art. Um, what's the recurring theme in your, in your painting? Sorry, Vernon, can you say it again? What's the recurring theme in your paintings? Uh, yeah, recurring you theme? Recurring theme yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm more inclined into painting um, landscapes. Mm. Right oh. Like trees. I love painting trees. Nice. I love like painting water. Forests. The water, the seas, forest scenes. And my main medium is um, watercolor. Oh. Yeah, most of my works are done in watercolor. And the places she has visited. Mm-hmm. A yes, they, of, yeah. they they always um play yeah. a big part of um the subject I want to paint. Like if I remember something oh, really nice good. I saw when I was still flying, I used to fly for Philippine Airlines. Mm-hmm. So you know it just triggers something, and I um draw start drawing and painting it. Have you sort of tried doing something out of the box and out of the virus? What's that? You know, that's what I should. <laughs> no, no. Thanks for the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you how do you paint? I mean, mm-hmm. uh, you go into a ritual. You you. Do you have a room at home where yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, and then what's the uh, process? The whole creative yeah, I process. I actually do it at home, Joe. I, I sorry, I do it inside my um, bedroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, first, um, I think of something nice to paint, and then I draw it. The drawing takes longer than the actual mm-hmm. painting. Um, ah, ganon. <laughs> Oh, once I have the drawing there and I laid out, it's yeah. so easy not to put some colors and I just, you know, splatter colors oh, yeah. with it. I really enjoy watercolor. Yeah. Marisa, what aspects of your cultural background do you sort of most draw um, inspirations from? Um, inspiration is always um, on the things I've seen. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, like, when, well, during um, I would paint um, paintings on work on paintings on mother and child when I get inspired um, mm-hmm. when I see you know photos of uh, a mom holding a baby and I think I have two or three where I would just um, draw a woman carrying a child. It has mm-hmm. a special spot yeah. for me. Like you've been to many places, but your you know your perspective will show it. I mean. Um, there will always be something Filipina about it in a way. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I've done paintings also on Sagada, mm-hmm. um, Boracay, things I've visited. So, uh, yun, um, I would make paintings on the Philippine scenes as well. Mm-hmm. Para patas. Yeah. Mark, do you paint also? Or what art do you practice? Mm-hmm. Oh, um... Well, I don't paint, actually, yeah. um, nor do I sing. I'm not really too inclined when it comes to the arts. That's not really my passion or okay. thing. Um, however, I'd like to say that I'm more into like the sports um, oh. aspect of things. What do uh, you do that? What, what sport? What do you play? I think it's football and basketball. Oh, uh, I've played a, a wide range of sports. My favorite sport oh. by far would be basketball. I play basketball oh. quite often. And then I've played um, football for many years, mm. as well as um, cricket, golf, um, frisbee, and okay. a little bit of badminton when I was younger, but not really much. So, uh, does your mom support you in your in, in your games and all that? Yeah, absolutely. When I was um, part of the school varsity team. Uh, she'd always be there um, to watch my games, and she'd always take me um, 
all the time in, in essence so yeah she's a huge supporter you're yeah. not you're not uh, intimidated or you're not scared or by her presence like like <laughs> you'd rather not see her there watching <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, that's not the case. I and actually I thrive on her support and her presence. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I tend to do better whenever she's watching. Oh, yeah, he only requests me sometimes. Say, Mom, don't shout my name too much. Yeah. <laughs> Get embarrassed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How is okay? Can I yeah. ask one more question before you? Yeah. Uh, how is it like having a a mother who's an artist? Does she? Go, go into histrionics and don't bother me I'm busy with my <laughs> how, how is she like oh uh, well whenever as an she artist paints, at home um, she needs her space which is understandable ah, okay so whenever she paints I often take care of Matthew because Matthew always tends to walk around and look for my mom so whenever she paints I take care of Matthew and me uh, and my my other brother James as well as Mapu, we just stay in the other room, you know, talk and all that. Oh, okay. Your mom reminds me of my boyfriend. <laughs> he also needs space. <laughs> yeah. At least, <laughs> ano, parang as if it's physics and not human relationships. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige, magtanong ka na. Yun po. Marisa, um, now that, you know, Mark is turning a new life, <coughs> um, he's embarking on a new chapter of his life, what is your advice to him? My advice is that um, for him to have a presence of mind all the time, because this time it will just be him. I won't be there holding his hand all the time. To, um, to always be a good person as well, Mark. Or not only be intellectually astute, but also to be sensitive to the needs of others. Uh-huh. So I think that's the most important thing. And um, yeah, that's what I want you to do. And of course, to to have to nurture his faith in the Lord, because you know, as we go through life, we, we some things don't go the way we want them to. So it's always good to be grounded in our faith. Mm-hmm. And then when life gets oh, yeah. too hard to stand, when it li- when it makes it too hard to stand, you um you just have to learn to kneel down and pray to God. Mm-hmm. That's I think the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Mark, what's your advice to your mom? <laughs> um, well, particularly for when I leave um, and she's alone here with Matthew, I advise her to just um, ask for help whenever she can get it uh, and, or whenever she needs it, um, whether that's from my ate or a friend or anyone who can come by and help. I recommend that whenever she needs help, um, she should take it somehow um, because um, it's going to be the first time that um, me or or James won't be at home, will be abroad. So yeah. she's mm-hmm. going to have to get accustomed to the lifestyle of being alone here with just Matthew, uh, my, uh, my other brother. So I just advise her to ask for help whenever she needs it. Uh-huh. Uh, thanks, okay. Mark. Because yeah. Yeah. Joe, we're not there. You're supposed to leave na this September. Mark will go na oh, to um, Leeds University. And then Mark will, uh, James will go to Scotland to finish his fourth year at University of Glasgow. So I'll be all alone here with my husband and my special son, Matt. So, you know, there will be more time for 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 Jay and Maurice to be together. Of course, yeah. with, with, with Mafu oh, yeah. there, no? But, you know, I'd like to ask James about his love life and how the <laughs> mother reacts to it. But before that, Let's pause for for a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Araneta City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Bini Bini pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch, your first home. 
Your first big break. Your first date. And even your first love. Araneta City. The city of firsts. Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Uh, we were asking Mark about his love life and how is Marisa reacting to to his relationship with his girlfriend. So Mark, ano nga? Uh, how are you with your with your girl? Oh yeah, we're doing great. Um, she's yeah. a huge source of motivation for me. And um, She's honestly a fantastic girlfriend, and I couldn't be any um, more happy to have her in my life. And uh, I hope my, um, and I, I know my mom feels the same way as well. She's a great person and um, very resilient as well. Oh. What did you like in her? Why, why did you why did you choose her? She's to... more oh. oh. so they will know how to how to attract Mark, no? Yeah. Mm. Um. Well, she's, as I said, a very resilient person. Mm -hmm. So, like my mom, she doesn't back down um, from challenges, and I thought that that was so um, admirable. Mm -hmm. And um, she's just a great girlfriend to me. She knows how to treat me well, and I couldn't ask her anything better. So, yeah, uh, let's yeah. ask Marisa how, how she is with yeah. with the what's the name of your girlfriend? Uh, her, her name is uh, Nicole. Nicole, Nicole Sanson. Yeah, so yeah. how are you with Nicole Marisa? Yeah, I'm fine with her. Josh is a very nice girl. And I'm when I see Mark very happy, I'm happy as well. Yeah. I just tell him, you know, just to be cool. They're young. Oh. They just uh, no, don't take things really seriously. Uh -huh. But um, make it, a, a, like, let her inspire him. And he inspires her as well. So I just tell him to take it easy. But yeah. I'm happy that he's happy. Oh. Yeah. Now, I'll ask you this question. Paano pag nagustuhan ko si Mark? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no, I mean, how would you react to to someone who's not a girl to liking was, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where did that come from? Nabigla <laughs> 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 sila. Oh. I'm sure also, um, you know, you've had also some guys liking you. I'm fine with that. I mean, you're Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang naman. Okay. Uh, you mean, tatanggap ka ng bisita sa bahay? <laughs> Pag Jo, ikaw pumunta sa bahay, Ay, iba tayo, naman. tayo magkukwentuhan. Iba naman yan, makikikain ako eh, for another reason. <laughs> oh, we so, also, kamusta naman si James? Can we, can we, mm -hmm. can we say hi to James? Uh, let me oh. call James. And then, uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's in the other room right now, oh. so I'm gonna just call him. Do, do you? Mark's, do Mark's you in the spot? <laughs> do you and James? I mean, he's good looking. I'm sure yeah, there are a lot of gays who, who you know, who find him attractive. But as much as there are a lot of girls, of course, how, how do you, how do you react to that? I'm sure there are a lot of girls in school who like you. Mm -hmm. Do 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 you oh, notice uh, that? Um, well, I can't really say that I know um, everyone who has had a crush on me or oh, know, whether man. it's a girl or a boy. Um, but regardless, I think it's um, it's nice and I appreciate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Humble naman mm -hmm. si Mark. Hi, Jojo. Hi, James. Hi, James. Hi, James. Hi Bernard. How are Hi. you? Hello. So, Fancy. Yeah, you're interested in this yeah. theater. What theater company are you in? Oh. Full House. No, um, I was just independently um, working for Resorts World at the time. Um, but obviously, that just lasted throughout the duration of King and I. But I've okay. stopped doing that now. Um, hopefully, when the theater scene comes back to light, I'll, I'll be able to partake. Hi. Are you singing? Are you still singing? Yeah. A lot, I guess. No, no not, not <laughs> as much as I did before. Now it's just in the shower kind of thing. But I do, oh. you know, when things go back to normal, I'll, I'll start getting back on stage. Yeah. Can you give us two lines now? 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I haven't vocalized. I haven't vocalized. I, I promise I'll come more prepared the next time. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Now we're playing a game. Yeah, we're playing. Oh, game. okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go on. Uh, thanks, James. No problem. No problem. Thanks, my James. pleasure. Yeah. Playing a game. I see. Sa mga tanong namin. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a little game. It's called Who is More Likely To? So, Mark and Marisa, you just point fingers. So, okay. yeah. Who is more likely to be a perfectionist? <laughs> <laughs> But why do you say that, Mark? Uh, well, ever since she became a plantita, I always noticed that um, she moves the plants everywhere, almost every day. <laughs> um And she likes to arrange things um, every now and then, so I can already tell that she's a bit of a perfectionist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who is uh, more inclined to cheer people up easily? <laughs> <laughs> and why so? Um, I don't know. I feel like um, I make people laugh at times whenever they're down, mm-hmm. and I like to lift up the mood whenever. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, I tend to worry more, and then you yeah. would just make a joke, and you know, it would lighten things up. Mm-hmm. Is- yeah, I think it's it's Mark who who, who can make people <laughs> happy. You know? Yeah, But, he has a very sharp sense of humor, like his father. Yeah. But who breaks it? I mean, who says sorry first after? An argument. Who apologizes first? Who apologizes? Yeah. Um. I think. Mark. I think me. Yeah. yeah. I'd say me as well. I mean, yeah. between the two of them. Between the two. You, you, oh, but I mm-hmm. think James also would would be the kind who who say I'm sorry. You I'm know? sorry. Yeah. 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 If yeah. they're at fault, they say sorry at once. It comes yeah. with a plea. I'm at fault. Yeah. 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 That's right. Be the last one ready when you're prepping for summer. <laughs> The last When you're prepping ah, to leave, the one who's really? late. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Mark? No, it's me. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has so many ceremonies. <laughs> the back of yeah. And who is more <laughs> who is more inclined to forget an event? Say birthday. Uh, oh, it's Mark. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, my mom's very um, punctual oh. when it comes to things like that. But with me, yeah. I often set it aside. For oh. no known reason. Yeah. Yeah, si Marisa kwa yan eh. Maayos yan eh. Organized. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mark and Marisa, it has been a delight to have you here at Spotlight. What are your final Thank words? Thank you so much for having us, Vernon. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. What are your final words to each other? Again. <laughs> Ooh, uh, you start, you start. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd just like to emphasize, Mark, that. Um, Merits of your life should not be hinged on your academic achievements, but it should be hinged on um, you being a good person yeah, so as a whole, mm-hmm. being kind, being helpful, and being kind, uh, being um, mm-hmm. you know respectful. I think that's more important than all of your achievements put together. Mark, okay. um, yeah. As for me, I'd like to say thank you for being the best mother I could ever have. Mm, mother's Day. Uh, mother's Day. Oh, tama. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true, no. huh? I'm extremely grateful for everything you do for us, and I will never take it for granted. Um, I hope that the time goes by really quickly for when I'm in the UK, so I get to go back here. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you, Mark. Um, wow. But yeah, other than that, I'm really I'm thankful for. Can I just say one last thing about Mark that I'm forever proud of you for the young man, fine young man you have become, mm-hmm. and uh, I'll be always here. Your family will always be here to support you. With all your undertaking. You know, these kids are always pleasant. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a given that they're good looking, huh? Mm-hmm. But they're very pleasant, well mannered. Mm-hmm. Oh, like sa akin, I don't know. <laughs> And I'm just a neighbor, <laughs> huh? But anyway, for for the final words, paren, uh-huh. may we ask Marisa to say a few words to other mothers, yeah, other yeah. parents who would like to have sons like. Like James These guys and are. Mar, yeah. oh, oh, and Mafu. And Mafu. Yeah. Well, to all the parents out there, I think um, when you want to, to um, emphasize something, 
like maybe good grades for your children, you encourage it, but you don't demand it. Mm, Let them okay. do it on their own. Um, and as early as when they're really small, you should already instill all the values that are important to you, like for family, to be grateful, humble, um, to persevere and, you know, have a sense of responsibility because everything in the end will just fall in the right place. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful. Right. And then Marisa goes, mm -hmm. and modesty aside, Jay and I have good genes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ikaw naman, Mark. Good son. Um, what can you tell other young people? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. You have any um, message for them? Yeah, uh, for those who are still in school, mm -hmm. uh, I recommend that you find the perfect balance between academic life and the social life. Mm -hmm. Because by the end of the end of the day, uh, if you don't prioritize um, or if you don't balance it well, you'll be missing out on a lot of um, experiences and a lot of me great memories. So I recommend that. You have fun when you can, uh, or while you can, I mean, mm -hmm. but you also um, put emphasis on your studies as well, so that everything's balanced. Yeah. Okay. Well said, well said. And, yeah. and Mark says, it mm -hmm. still makes a difference if you're good looking like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good one, no? Fonder, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had a good afternoon. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mark and yeah. Marisa Ketcher. Yeah, thank, thank, you so thank you so much for Bernard. having us. Yeah. 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 This is Jojo Silvestre. I am Vernon Velasco. This is Spotlight. Thank you so much.